No one, nothing can stop me. Today I did an interview that was just mind-blowing because it showed me that everything that I've been taught in school is wrong, absolutely wrong. And the person I talked to today is Jamie Jennifer who told me about the unified fear theory. And the unified fear theory basically explains everything about the very nature of the universe and about human beings, about the human beings that we are, how we are, what we are made of and where we come from and that everything is connected and you will be amazed to understand how everything is interconnected in this world. Check this out. We're told that we're an insignificant blob of cells on some rock floating in space that is floating around some other mm -hmm. rock and that we're not that important. But unified field theory actually points to the fact that we're infinite beings living in an infinite universe and that we have an infinite relationship to all scales at all times because everything in the universe is connected by space and it goes into the nature of what that space is, how that space is structured, the dynamics in the space, the density of the space, the geometry of the space and so when you understand this stuff then it changes the way you feel and act and behave in the space and it makes everything become more resonant and ultimately the reason I talk about this stuff is for me having more fun and less death and pain and suffering and stuff like that because we see right now on this planet a lot of behavior that is not constructive to mm. say the least you know all the way up to I'm gonna kill you because my religion says something different than your religion and if we could make every religion on the planet realize that every religion on the planet is answering the same questions in a different way but it all has been seeded by the same set of information that's very ancient information. Mm. And so we could make the, the planet into more like festival earth, where mm. we celebrate different religions the way we celebrate different styles of music at a festival. And if we could do that, it would be a lot nicer around here. And we'd have a lot more resonance and fun and love and a lot less suffering and animosity and anger and fear and things that are not as good. It changes everything because people have been taught in school and you know by society that things are a certain way and it's just not correct. It's like telling kids that the earth goes around the sun in a big circle. It's like telling kids that the earth is flat because we said the Earth was flat for a long time, then we realized it was a sphere. Now we're telling kids that the Earth goes around the Sun in a circle, but we forget that the Sun is moving through space. So the Earth is actually making a giant spiral as it moves. Mm -hmm. And so that's just one tiny little segment of the information that's contained in this body of information that changes your whole perspective on yourself in relation to the universe. Unified field theory is more pointing towards that there's infinite information and infinite understanding that is within us. It's actually a comparison of physics like black holes mm. and stuff that Buddha talked about, which is the stillness in the center of your heart chakra. And so for Nassim Haramein and in Unified Field Theory, the Bindu point in the center of your heart chakra, in the center of that double tube toroid field that, of energy that, you, that surrounds you, is actually a black hole and that that point is actually a singularity at the center of a black hole. So it's a physics way of describing things that ancient mystics and the ascended masters of this planet have been talking about for centuries. It's a scientific method-based understanding for something that up until recently has only been something that's been understood in a more spiritual, intuitive, philosophical way for Western people like ourselves mm. who've been taught in school like this is science and this is science fiction or this is religion and this is science and you don't necessarily mix these two things now we're getting an understanding that's holistic that combines these two things into one unified field theory which actually makes everything fit together and makes everything make sense and it hopefully will help create a lot more resonance on this planet and help prevent some of this crazy stuff that's going on right now. Einstein made a huge jump 
in the understanding, right? He's probably credited for the biggest leap in understanding in terms of physics. Because before Einstein, space and time were separate things. And then he came and said space-time is one thing. It should have a dash in there. It's called space-time. And Nassim adds to what Einstein did. Nassim is down with Einstein. He agrees with a lot of what he says and relativity and stuff like that. But what, I, what Nassim did is he added in a spin component to Einstein's theory. Einstein said space-time curves, right, forming this thing called a black hole, and it might actually have infinite space-time curvature forming this singularity mm -hmm. that forms this curvature in space-time where everything gets sucked into it. Nassim says that that doesn't just curve, it's actually curling like water going down the drain. When you mm -hmm. pull your plug out of your bathtub, the water doesn't just go straight down. Mm -hmm. It spins as it goes. And so he's saying that space-time spins as well. Space-time is curling to singularity, which is what's causing everything in the universe to spin. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the universe that's not spinning. All atoms spin, the Earth, all planets, all stars, all solar systems, all galaxies, the universe itself is all a spiral dynamic like a hurricane or like water going down the drain. And it doesn't just happen in one direction, it happens in two directions, both directions. One spinning this way, the other spinning the other way to the point in stillness, and then the information goes out and then it spins back in. So it forms a torus or like a donut shape in one hemisphere and a donut spinning the other way in the other hemisphere with the singularity or the, the space being still in the center only like the eye of a hurricane. And that is what you would could call a black hole or a singularity with its you know, dynamic around it, and the universe is nothing but that in different scales. His theory says that the universe is made of an infinite scalar array of black holes, that every atom in the universe is a tiny little black hole. Mm -hmm. So your 100 trillion cells are made of billions of atoms each. That makes you made of quintillions of little miniature black holes. So when the Ascended Masters say you are light, they're speaking literally. You are made of a very large number of very small black holes, which are all vortexes in space-time curling to stillness. And then you're centered by a bigger one of those in the center of your heart that forms this same energy field. And mm -hmm. the way you access that is by pointing your attention in to the center of your existence, not looking out to God on top of some cloud that's looking down at you with a lightning bolt waiting to strike you down mm -hmm. because you've sinned and you're gonna go to hell and all mm -hmm. this stuff. That's instilling fear and guilt into people. And unified field theory, through science, can point to a much different way of looking at yourself, which is I'm actually an infinite being, and I have an infinite connection to the universe because everything in the universe is connected by space. Mm -hmm. Nassim thinks the strong force doesn't exist. He thinks that dark matter doesn't exist. He thinks that all these things are misinterpreted for actually the energy that's in space. Right now in our physics, we're missing 96% of the matter of the universe. We can only account for 4% of the mass that we see out there in the universe. The other 96% is called dark energy and dark matter because we can't see it, we can't find it, and we're still looking for it. And we're spending all kinds of time and energy and money looking for that when perhaps the answer is right under our noses this whole time. Every atom in the universe is made of 99.999999% space. It's only 0.000001% stuff, like protons, neutrons, and electrons. So a vast majority of your very own body is made of space. Mm -hmm. And so if you're coming up with a unified field theory that describes the entire universe, you better pay attention to the 99.999999% part. Because right now, we're mostly paying attention to the 0.000001% part that gives us this thing that we call the material world. And we're measuring things like light, heat, sound, x-rays, gamma rays, cosmic rays, microwaves, and then taking all that data and putting together our unified field theory and being like, ta-da, we just explained the whole universe. Well, actually, only 4% of it, but there we go, right? And it's only based on this very small fr fraction of the overall space that's there. Because I want my grandchildren to be able to have a planet to live on. And I want them to have fun. I want to have fun. And the way we're headed right now, it's not looking very good. We're about to hit a brick wall. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And we've just got to 
change the way we act and the way we behave and the information we're putting out there as quickly as possible based on our new understandings and let go of the old thoughts you know the change from we live on a flat planet to we live on a sphere took a while but the change from we live in a finite universe that's constant that doesn't change that's static to we live in an infinite universe that we can do anything is happening really quickly just take a look at epigenetics which we were told when we were kids you're born with a certain set of genetics and so if you have a cancer gene you're going to get cancer but now we know that you can change your DNA, you can change your genes with your thoughts. Your brain tells your body what's going on. If you change the way you think and the way you feel about yourself, you can heal yourself. It's being proven medically, scientifically right now. So we have to stop telling people, oh yeah, sorry, you were born into this genetic pool and you have a predisposition for this and this to happen. And so people are like, oh my God, I'm." My, all my family has cancer, so I'll probably get cancer. Yeah, you will if you think like that. And if you think, oh, I can actually change my genetics with my mind, then you will. We know that that's true. That's just one example of thousands and thousands and millions of things, new understandings, that we have happening right now on this planet. And because we have things like smartphones and the internet, we can get that information out to millions and billions of people almost instantaneously. And so that's why we're seeing the transformation of society happening so quickly right now. It's why it's important for people like you and, and me to do things like this and to do interviews, to put it out there on YouTube so that the information can get cycled and fed back to itself. We are the event horizon for the universe to learn more about itself.